Okay, <clears throat> for those out there that are trying to set up the on-screen display through the TBS Corpion P50, this is what I've found that works really good. Other people are doing this, I'm sure. I think Still Davis off of the Rotor Riot team does this, but it's hard to find a really good video on exactly how to hook and splice all of your wiring. So I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to take a little bit of time, and I'm using a crappy cell phone. Sorry. All right. We've got our battery. It's a four cell. We got it hooked straight into the end on the TBS PMP. I'm running a Fox here. This is just a backup camera, so it's non CCD, uh, but it supports 16 by 9 screen format, which I have the V3s, so that's why I've got it. Anyways, we've got a version. 200 milliwatt VTX and you've got on the back you've got battery and ground for your power source to the transmitter you've got audio video ground and 5 volts I take the 5 volt ground or the 5 volt pin and I take out the ground just leave video and audio and audio R is non applicable for my setup so yeah, you can look into it further if you want but what I did was I took out those pins I splashed video which is yellow and audio which is white and I spliced that into the VTX port on to the PNP50 if you flip this over you have a four pin setup which if you look really hard down in here and it's not going to show it if you look down in there you can kind of see where they label audio video right down in there yep you see it right down there where that little blue LED is you just make sure that you splice your audio and video together run it back to your VTX Splice the power output, which is ground and positive, to your JST connector, and then it goes into the power source to your VTX. That is what I've been looking for for days, and I could not find a video, so I figured this might help. Uh, just like Steel says, you can go online on Google search images and look up PNP50 or PNP Core 25, which they use the old uh, board, but it's got the newer, uh, it's got the newer upgraded core in it, so that you actually have the 50 amp uh, on your camera port. You can use a four pin it takes a four pin but it also on this PNP 50 uh, it is actually labeled also and I'll try to point it out without shorting out the board it's right down in here if my camera will look, there it is you see video ground and power supply and now if you're running a camera that is 5 volt compatible you don't have to jump it but if you're running a camera 
that is, you might want to jumper your jumpers for 5 volt and I'll bring my helping hand stand over here and I will turn on the light and I will use my magnifying glass by golly and you will see it very clearly you have your ground or, excuse me you have your camera and your VTX you can run 5 volts by jumpering these two together and what I did was I just it comes factory with the 5 volt jumpered you just get your soldering iron pretty warm about 450 to 500 degrees and you take the solder and transfer it to these two make sure they don't connect in here or you're gonna have a bad time with everything I don't know what it'll do but I don't want to know either so that's only if your rig requires 12 volts if not don't worry about it so there is the VTX powering your powered off of your uh, PNP so it's running through then giving you audio video to your camera and to prove this is working I have to you see this you see this and right there right there I am you don't want to look at me very long anyways this video is a little bit longer than I wanted it to be but the PNP 50 is great it's awesome you can see the on-screen display you got your volts 16.4 and I'm drawing no amps right now because I'm not flying and I'm not drawing any milliwatts hour time because I'm not flying but anyways this video is you're not going to find a video like this because there's not one. I've looked everywhere. So, anyways, this is for sale tattoo. And PNP 50. Um, I bought this PNP 50 off of a website called getfpv.com. I believe they have more in. If not, then I'm sure Rotor Riot does if they're not back ordered still but this new style you don't even have to solder it's already come pre-soldered with your you know your two grounds ready to fit into the alien you know, all you do is if you want to cut your leads shorter to put on your PDB and run your uh, extension for your battery to mount so hopefully this video hasn't been too blurry I tried you need any questions just let me know I've pretty much studied this for the past I don't know two weeks I've probably watched the meticulous build video by Steel Davis about 30 times and the final build of the PMP 50 by Mr. Steel and I've probably watched it about 30 or 40 times so anyways any questions, just uh, comment and I'll get back to you when I can.